No, it's, it's All right, so um, this is 3-10, 3-10 using percent. There are three types of problems, but percent is just for some history. They say that percent first came in with the Romans, and it might have come in before that in some other form. But, it, you know, the textbook example is saying that, hey, percent was used in ancient Rome, for sure, with Emperor Augustus, when he levied a one one-hundredth of a tax on items, you know, sold. And now, of course, tax is a big thing, especially in some countries, uh, with the VAT. Anybody know where that is from? The VAT is in, from the UK, and that could be large, over 10% on all goods. What about the GST that's in Canada? That's Ooh. a federal tax on top of provincial tax. So you pay your 7% or whatever provincial, or which is state tax, plus you pay. So you pay over 10% everything you buy and sell. That's a lot of money if you buy a $20,000 car. What's 10% on a $20,000 car? That's 2,000 buckaroonos. That's a pretty serious shh. Or money, because money, money. So anyway, um, this is some basic stuff, right? We're just reviewing. 0.35 equals 35%. 5% is the same as 0 0.05. Write this down. And 0.8%, now that's a little different, is 0 0.008. It gets a little tricky. But the thing that's in common to all of these is what? How do you tell how to find, how do you go from percent to decimals and vice versa? Stuart? From decimal to percent, you always move the decimal to right. the right. See that, folks? You just went two to the right. Because you shifted over, okay? So that's how you got 35%. What if you start with percent, though? To the left. Shoot two to the left, that's right. And you end up, but you don't, you can't go two to the left because why? You're missing something. What do you have to put in there? You've got to put in your zetto. And that's why you have 0.05, right, Alex? Right, Tamara? Yeah. Write it down. So, and what about 0.8%? What do you think? Yeah, but how do you know which way to go? <coughs> um, left, right, right. Left, or left, left, right. left, right. Right, No, not right. It's left. left. Right? Left. No, right? Right. Right. Uh -huh. Left. Say yes. It's supposed to be left. Oh. 10, 10 out of 40 is what? That's how much of a percent? 4. 25%. Yeah? yeah? 10 out of 40 is 25%. So what is two out of 40? What do you think? About? Eight percentage. About eight percent? Okay, something like that. How do we figure it out though? Now that you've given a guesstimate, you know where you're going, now go out and do it. Well, which, how do we do it? What does two percent directly translate into? Uh, point oh, point point oh, two point times oh two. Okay. 40. Or two out of 100 if we want to go fractions. Which times 40. 40. Equals something. Equals what? X. X. There we go. How's that? <laughs> I just want to make sure you don't mistake this times symbol, operation symbol. How's that? That's better. So we go ahead and do it. What do we get? Over here, we can simplify it, right? When we simplify fractions, Amanda, what do we get here? 80 over 100 equals x. Are we done? No. no. Negative. Not quite. Simplify. We simplify, right, which equals what? What does this equal? 8 over 10. 8 over 10. Good x equals 8 over 10, can which can be simplified, Yeah, it's because we're just directly translating. And actually, it would have been better to go with Pepper's way and just go 0.02 times 40. It's way easier. And that would have been a lot easier. We would have got 0.8 from the beginning, okay? Cuts time so the answer is, 0.8 is our answer. 2% um, of 40 is, the number 0.8 is 2% of 40. We knew it was going to be small, right? It wasn't 8. 8 out of 40 is actually almost 25%. 1 out of 40 is just a little more than 2%. Okay, let's move along. 50% of 40 is 20, right, Shannon? Yeah. Ingrid, 20 out of 40 is a half, right? So it's 50%. So what's 10 out of 40, Alex? 10 out of 40? Yeah, 1 out of 4. 1 out of 4. Yeah, what is it? Percent. Um, About 25%. Good job, Alex. Um, now, but if 10 out of 40, 10 out of 40 is 25%, what is 2 out of 40? About 50%. No, 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 that would, that would be 20 out of 40, but 2 out of 40. 2 out of 40 is like Yeah, something a lot less, right? Getting, yeah, it's going to be a lot less, real small amount. So, but now we're going to go and figure exactly what it is. So what do we do to translate? 2, now Alex, what does the inside mean? It is like equals. Equals. What percent, what do we put for what percent? X. X over 100, right? Not just X, but X over 100. I like to do it my way. Right? Of 40, what does of mean? Times. Multiply. Times. Okay. Now, this is 40 over 1. What do we do now? Cross out the zeros. Uh, yeah, we could do that. We could divide by 10. 
So we're going to rewrite this, okay? 2 is equal to, what am I going to write? 2 equals x times 4 over 1 times We could put 40x over 100, but we're going to, you know, divide by 10 on both sides. So we've really got 4 out of 10x. And we're almost there. What can we do now to solve this? Simplify it. Simplify it. What do we get? 2 fifths. X equal, okay, we can do that as well. This is actually equal to 2 fifths, right? That's equal to 2 fifths. 4 tenths is 0.4, uh, but okay. Now, what do we do to solve it? We can either cross multiply it or multiply it by 5 on both sides, right? And we get? 10x, 10 equals these 10x. These cancel, right? Oh, I'm sorry. 10 equals 2x, 2x and x equals? Five. Five. And that's pretty close to what Alex said. Good job, Alex. Five. Nope. Good estimate. So now we write it out. You have to write it out. Over here. Ready? Two is? Two is five percent of 40. Good stuff. Two is five percent of 40. Everybody see that? One percent of 80 is 100. Okay, what is 100? It's more than 80. 100 is more than 100 percent. Let's translate it to make sure. So what percent? What percent? How do we write what percent? Tamar. Tamar. Uh, you know, how do you write these? Yeah, how do we write it? 80 is what percent? X. Oh, yeah. X times 80 percent of 80 is 100. 80 percent. Okay, what's wrong with that? There's one thing wrong with that. What, what, where's the, what says what X percent? It's got to be X over 100. Oh, okay. okay. So now we solve it. It's no problem. Let's simplify it. We're going to write this as, um, we're going to divide by 10 on both sides. We're going to simplify it. It's actually 8X over 10. Nice. <laughs> equals 100. Right? And that can be simplified. I'm not even going to bother because we're almost there. What if we just multiply by 10 on both sides? Right? Mm -hmm. Because that's going to cancel with that. We get 8x equals what? 8x equals 1,000. Equals 1,000. And eight. then we divide by 8 on both sides. What do we get? Uh, 125%. X equals? X equals 125. So now we write it out in full. Over here, what do we say? We answer the question, what percent of 80 is 100? How do we write it? 125% of 80 is 100. Is 100. Okay? You have to write that down. You really, really, it's very important to write the final sentence. Because otherwise you'll never really see what it is we found. And you see, Pepper, see, it's more than 100%. 100 is bigger than 80. I, was I know you. Uh, let's go to David Ortiz and the Boston Red Sox who are on their way to winning a World Series. This is 2007. Time. Baseball. Okay, now 13 hits and 25 at bats. Every time he goes up to the plate, it's called an at bat. Austin, what do we do? 13 divided by 25. 13 divided by 25. Now, how do we find the percent, his batting average from there? You multiply by 100. So, what is it equal, folks? 52%. So we get, how did we get that though? 1300 over 25 is 52. And it's percent because it's over 100. So there you go. 52%. Nice. And if you want to do it the long way, 25 into 1300, we did that. What's 25 into 130? How many times? It goes five times. And then minus 125. Right? Five times zero. That's right. There you, you know you two. School, Matt. There you go. Mr. Day. 25 is 2, and that's your answer. 52%. It's already converted into percent because we multiplied by 100. If you didn't use the 100, you would get 0.52, and you'd have to convert it then to percent like we did the other day. 